Hello, my name is Codemaster Jamal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your Mixamo animations in Unity. If you've downloaded any animations from Mixamo, you've probably encountered this issue before. The animations work perfectly inside of Mixamo, however, when you import it to Unity, something strange happens. There might be a bit of distortion or bending on one of the body parts. You check your armature to make sure everything is set up correctly, and nothing seems to be wrong. You've checked your weight painting, deleted frames from the animation itself, and still, nothing seems to work on the animation. Well, fear no more, because today, Codemaster Jamal has got you covered. Today I'm going to show you how to fix all of your animations that you downloaded from Mixamo or any other anonymous source. Now I'm not entirely sure why this works, but it worked for me, so I know it can work for you as well. All you will need for this tutorial is to download the 3D modeling software Blender. Any version of this software will be good enough to get the job done. The software itself is also free to download, and to be honest, if you're doing any kind of work in 3D and not using Blender at all, then you're already messing up. And that's not to say that Blender is the best 3D modeling software, but it's sort of an industry standard at this point. Okay, so to fix this problem, here's what you do. Download your animation from Mixamo. Preferably download the normal FBX version with a skin. You can choose to have no skin, but for now, I'm just going to use this cop Donald. I also already have my animations downloaded on my computer already, so we're good to go. You can also export it as a Unity FBX, but to be honest, it really doesn't matter. Although, in order for this solution to work, I would advise that you download the standard FBX file from Mixamo. Now that we have the FBX downloaded, open up Blender. In Blender, we have a general scene with a cube, a camera, and a light. Press A to select all, and then delete everything in the scene. Next, in the top left corner, select File, and then Import, and then select FBX. You will have to navigate to the part of your computer where you store your FBX file that you downloaded from Examo earlier. I happen to download mine on my desktop, so I'm just going to go straight to the desktop. Select the FBX file and load it into Blender. Once the file has been loaded, select the armature in the hierarchy. I'm currently using Blender 2.8 and up, but in later versions of Blender, you will need to set up your action editor. In Blender 2.8 and up, this includes Blender 2.9, you can just select the tab that says Animation. Now this next part is very important. Go to the tab in the bottom left corner that says Dope Sheet. Select it and then select Action Editor. From here, you can rename your animation if you want. It's not necessary, but it helps you stay organized. Next, we need to make sure that the animation is starting and ending correctly. So make sure the animation is starting on 1 if it starts on 1. But if it starts on 0, make sure it starts on 0 or another number. Where it ends is also important, especially if this animation is meant to loop. Go to the end of the animation and select the frame. Make sure the end frame is on the same frame that the animation ends on. Once that is done, hit the play button in Blender to make sure the animation is playing properly. There shouldn't be any kind of bending inside of Blender. If there is, then chances are there's probably something wrong with the animation itself, in which case you should probably consult Adobe or somebody to help you out or assist with that. If the animation is playing properly in Blender, this is how you know that there is nothing wrong with the animation itself. Because if it can work in Blender, it'll definitely work in Unity. The problem with the animations is that Unity has one way of doing 3D, and so does everyone else. So most likely when the devs wrote the conversion tools for the animation, somebody must have made a slight mistake along the way, and this is why the bending in the animation occurs. Or I could be completely wrong, who knows. The way how Unity does animation is slightly different from how other engines perform animation. And don't forget that people also work under a lot of stress, and that we're all human, so we make mistakes. The point is, is that no one's to blame for the problem, and this method for Unity's FBX must either work only on high-end computers or certain cases. Either way, I found the solution to the problem, so let's export this FBX and move it into our Unity project. Stop the animation. And then in the left-hand corner, select File, then select Export, and then select FBX. You can name the file whatever you want in whatever directory you want. You can save everything, however, if you just want the animation, under Object Types, select Mesh and Armature only. There's also a few options for optimizing the FBX for Unity, however, for the sake of this tutorial, they are not necessary. Once you're done, you can click Export FBX, and after a while, you should have a new FBX file. Finally, let's open up Unity. Inside of Unity, move your FBX file into the project if it already hasn't been imported. I would also advise on saving the FBX file outside of Unity and then moving it into the project just to be on the bit of the safer side. Once there, select the FBX, and in the Inspector panel, select Rig. Set the Rig to Humanoid, and then select Loop Time, and set the Motion to Root Transform. Then hit Apply. And this should save all of the settings for the animation. Finally, go into the FBX by clicking this arrow to open it up, and then select the animation. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the animation, and this creates an animation in the project folder that we can actually use and apply to other 3D models that have a humanoid avatar. 
Assuming that everything is done properly for the rigging of your character, and in case you need some help with rigging your character, I actually have a video that I'm going to list in the top right corner. You can go ahead and check that out. Assuming that everything is done properly for the rigging of your character, you can then use the animation how you would normally. All I did was stick this animation inside of my animation controller and press play. And now your animation should play properly. That's all you had to do. Import the animation into Blender, touch it up a bit, and then export it as its own FBX file. Now, I will tell you that this may not work with all animations, but it will work with most animations that are downloaded from Mixamo. If you need any more additional help with animations in general, I'm going to go ahead and list a few topics that I found on the Unity forums that may or may not assist you. I decided to make a video for people who were having this problem. And as you guys can see, I wasn't just having this problem with my Vroid models, because at first I thought it was my Vroid models, but then I tried it on the models I made for an FPS game. And as you can see, the animations still have that problem. All you have to do is make sure that the animation worked in Blender first, and then re-import the animation into your project. And well, that's all folks. It's been great making another tutorial for you guys. I hope all of you continue to grow as people and as game developers. If you like this video and similar content to this one, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, leave a comment below. You can also support the channel by sharing this video and any other video you think other people may find useful. Keep making games. Till next time, this is Codemaster Jamal, and I'm signing out. Oh.